I'd like to welcome you to the annual Colorado River District Water Seminar. This is the district's signatures event. You know, they've, um, they've had great luck in putting these on, and this year is going to be just as good as anyone they've ever had, maybe better. You know, we try to bring education to the citizens of Colorado and to Western Slope, particularly those in the, in the Colorado River Basin. You know, I want to thank you personally for being here. It shows your commitment to the future. It shows your commitment to what can we do. And, uh, you know, I believe in that word, we. That seems to be the one that keeps getting left out. A lot of times people ask, what can you do? And a lot of times we say, I can't do anything. But I think if we can kind of focus on the words we, we might be able to accomplish something. My name is Mark Catlin. I'm the director from Montrose County, um, an, irrigated, ir an irrigated agricultural county, and I, uh, I do appreciate the opportunity to be the welcoming address this morning. I'm the Water Rights Development Count, uh, Coordinator for Montrose County, but I'm a farm kid. I was raised on a farm. The first thing I ever heard about managing water is don't let any get off the hill. You know, and uh, I grew up with that. I still feel that way. You know, we need to put it to that beneficial use if we can. I'd like to introduce and welcome the other board members that are here. John Justman from Mesa County, the host county. I'm not sure if they're here. They don't have to stand up. We won't embarrass you. Dave Merritt from Garfield County. Tom Gray from Moffat County. And Doug Monger from Route County. And while I'm introducing, I'd like to say thank you to the staff of the Colorado River District, Jim Pokrant particularly. This is a great agenda today. And uh, I haven't been on the River District for a long time, but I've attended this a number of times. And every year I'm impressed by the caliber of people that speak, by the presentations that are made. You know, and I'm, I'm just as impressed this year. Here we are, today's theme is the Colorado River, waves of the future, fitting the West to the river's new normal. When I was given this assignment to be the speaker and they said the, the Colorado River, waves of the future, I said, you know, I'm really not very good at the wave. And uh, so don't worry about it, you'll be, you'll be fine, just don't worry about it. But I do see what's being tried to be said in as far as the wave of the future. The seven states along the Colorado River, upper and lower basin, are working on plans to deal with the low reservoir levels at Powell and Mead as we try to hit human, fit human use of the water to what nature provides. That wave right there seems to be crashing on shore. Whether or not it's because we're, things are changing or not, things are changing. There are more and more people, more and more demands, more and more need for a finite resource. Taking the time out of your day to day to come and talk about the future, talk about possibly a new normal, shows that you are committed. And that commitment, I believe, is what will probably take us into the future. Taking time out of your day says that you are the future leaders. You are the people that will be sitting at the table. You know, I was raised with, in the water business, of no, hell no. That's not what we want to do. Being a younger leader, I said, I'm worried about even saying, can we have a conversation? Since then, I've found that we do need to have a conversation. There is no such thing as no, hell no. So, welcome to today's event. I'd like to introduce your MC, Mr. Chris Trees, our external affairs and um, one of the top-notch guys in the state of Colorado as far as this is concerned. He'll be um, very entertaining and he's going to introduce some people that will probably keep your attention all day and you probably want to stay later on in the afternoon to talk about it. Please join me in welcoming Chris Trees. Good morning. Let me add my welcome to everybody. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, 
as Mark noted, that, that we put a lot of time and effort into this. You see everybody, the whole staff from the River District is here. And so it, it is a all hands on deck, full effort, full team uh, production. So we, uh, we appreciate you being a part of that. So one of the stories about Mark Catlin that's told, uh, when he was a young boy at uh, Montrose Schools, teacher on one of the early days of uh, chemistry class said, Mark, can you tell us what the chemical formula for water is? Mark quickly said, yes. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. Teacher looked at him and said, what? He said, well, you told us yesterday it's H2O. <laughs> All right, come on. You know how few jokes there are about water out there? So to bring to your attention a few things, those of you who are sitting at tables, you all have our annual report, another product that uh, we spend a lot of time and effort on. Please take a look at that and be sure to open it up. We have a number of things in there. Uh, in particular, in there is the survey form. And so as the day goes on, as you have your impressions, as you have some random thoughts about what is good, what is bad, most importantly, what could be improved, and what uh, you would like to see. We do look at all of those. We do appreciate your input. Please uh, fill that out um, and feel free. There's a collector's pencil in front of you. Feel free to take that home with you after you use that to complete your survey form. Uh, let's see, what else am I supposed to tell you? That also in there, there are full bios for our speakers. We will not spend, we will not take up our speakers' time by with long introductions just a short introduction to each of our speakers. We have some great speakers and you'll want to stay for all of them. The PowerPoints that you see today throughout the day will be up on our website. Give us till sometime mid to late next week to get all those up on the River District's website. All the materials you have in front of you have the River District's website if you don't already know it well. Um, Additionally, first time ever, we are live videotaping this production. Um, this is being streamed out over the internet, therefore you all truly are a part of this pr production. Um, we're seeing how that goes. We haven't committed to doing that in the future, so any of you that have thought, damn it, why did I drive all the way down here? It may not work next year, so um, we, we want you here next year. One of the risks, obviously, of streaming is that people say, oh, I could stay home and watch this. But you are an important part of this. We will ask you, we will, each of our speakers has been requested to leave some time for questions. We have some stand-up mics here. Um, if you can come up here and, and ask your question, if you don't want to come up to the mic, we will repeat your question just so people out on the internet uh, who are streaming this uh, or, or who are watching it after the fact in video production. Um, we'll have a chance to know what it is the, uh, the speaker is responding to. Everyone, if you would turn off or silence your cell phones, please. We recognize an important part of this, of this program and the value is in networking, both for us and for you. Um, but please, if you get uh, involved in a heavy conversation, take that out in the hallways. You'll also notice when you're out there in the hallways in your conversations, there's some additional resource materials on the table out there. Of particular note is the latest publication from the Colorado Education Foundation. It's actually a reprint, it's an update, it's a second edition of water conservation of the layman's guide. Um, and if you're not familiar with the, the citizen's guides, actually we've changed the name, the citizen's guides to water conservation, to water law, to compacts, there are an awful lot of those. Visit the Water Education Foundation's uh, website as well.